Hey there, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and today is Saturday, the 7th of September, 2024. I hope you're all doing well, and let's see, what shall we talk about today? Well, I should start by saying I'm a very proud uncle, because yesterday I got an email with a link from my nephew Tim um, of his first album which I had no clue was coming. Um, under the name Tim Bag, the album is called December Bugs, and it's on Spotify and on YouTube. I don't know what else it's on, but I suppose uh, over time it'll be on other things as well. So, very proud. He played everything on it, produced it, engineered it, everything, everything. It's all him. So, good on you, Tim. Very good. I listened to it. Very interesting. Um, I understood it. I suppose that's an important thing to say. A lot of it is very kind of, I'm going to call it soundscapey, you know. A lot of it sounds to me like it'd be great music to accompany something, like accompany a piece of film or, or what have you, you know. It has that, uh, it has a good mood to it. A lot of the stuff is very esoteric and, you know, but um, has a lot of energy in, in, you know, different pieces. And, yeah, there's 11 pieces overall. So congratulations, Tim. Very proud of you. So as for my week, it was a continuation of no uh, central air until they finally fixed it on Wednesday, thank the Lord, because it was really having an effect on my breathing, which is not a good thing when you're a 64-year-old diabetic fat guy. So, much improved on that level, although I've also been dealing with, um, for over a week now, a very bad uh, right knee. So, that was one sad thing that happened during the week is we were having some macaroni uh, pardon me penne regatte to be exact and I got myself some on a paper plate and my whole knee went out and all the pasta spilled everywhere on the floor and that and thank God my nephew picked it all up because I certainly couldn't have but I hated that. And not just the wasting the food, but my knee giving out. It was a it was a choice of hold on to my walker or fall. So I didn't fall. And I kind of instinctually this hand left hand was holding the plate. I instinctually grabbed for the walker so I wouldn't fall. So I was starting to. And unfortunately that was the result. But I guess that's the result I've gotta go with every time and hoping it never happens again. Um, the other day, the 5th, yes, the 5th, um, had a lovely long conversation with my friend Kat Ironwood, one of my, I think she is my longest time friend since 1980, so yeah, 44 years. And it's always wonderful to talk to Kat. We, we have an ease in our conversation from so many years, you know, there's not many people you can just go anywhere with a conversation, you know, talk about the most obscure stuff, which is kind of fun, too, you know. Kat's a great person, so that was, it was wonderful to talk to her. Uh, my friend Ari is working in Branson right now uh, for a couple of weeks doing caricatures, and another thing I... I put in a call to Marvel because one of the things, I don't know if you know this, <clears throat> but when you work for a company like Marvel and you sign contracts, there's stuff you get from that contract too. And one of the things that you are supposed to get when you are talent for them is when they reprint stuff or whatever, you're supposed to get a copy of it. Okay? So I came across this site yesterday that 
I forget why I came across it. I wasn't looking for me, but I found me on it. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm here. Let me see what they show. <clears throat> and they showed, amongst other things, 14 or 15 hardcover and paperback collections that I'm in that I was never sent a copy of. So I put in a call to my contact there and an email, and I didn't hear back either way. I know he's still there, um, this guy Jeff, but um, I am hoping that he will contact me on Monday, Tuesday, and say, oh, John, what is it that you need? And I'll, you know, I'll send him the list, and hopefully I will receive and if I don't receive them, I, I don't understand why I wouldn't receive them unless they're out of, like, you know, comp copies. In which case, get me one. Fulfill my contract. Thank you very much. I don't say that in a malicious way, but just in a, in a fairness way, you know. Um, I'm safe in saying that Marvel slash Disney is not hurting financially. They can afford to honor their contracts. I think that's pretty simple. So, did that, and what else? So I put up a couple of track by tracks on prog sheets. I was very pleased that I was able to get that done efficiently. I did that on Monday, in fact. I was gonna just do one, and then I came across one. I'm like, oh, I forgot to put that one up. So I worked on that for a couple of hours and, and put that one up as well. So I'm, I'm where I should be in terms of keeping my site going and all sorts of stuff. Uh, what did I cook during the week? Nothing major. I made a, you know, um, I made hot dogs and beans in the oven uh, last Saturday. Sunday I made chicken with, um, I, I sauteed mushrooms and onions in some butter and a little olive oil and, and different herbs, some garlic sweated that all down and then had thin I had some chicken breasts that I sliced thinly put them in there and then when that all cooked I made a pan sauce in that with a little wonder flour some more butter a little bit of milk and then finished that off with some cheese on the top let it melt over the chicken and that was I will say delightful and then the next night I made tacos and then the night after that was when I, you know, dropped all that stuff. So what would that have been? Tuesday, I believe it was. Yes, because Wednesday we had some really not great cod. It wasn't. It wasn't great cod. It was kind of B level cod. So ugh. you know, when a piece of fish is like, eh. It lets you know. I think mean, there was nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't like a top of the line cod that they the store gave us. So it happens, you know. Such is life. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all get in touch. Uh, check my nephew's uh, new album out there if you if you have a mind to. And uh, I think that's it for the week trying to think if there's anything else let me just quickly I'm going to quickly review my phone calls for the week yeah yeah uh-huh uh -huh. yeah oh you know what there you go I talked to a few other people my friend Joyce my friend Mike uh, Dawn Airy Pete and uh, there you are. So, I love you all. I'll see you all next week. Come, come by and say hi.